This is Larnaca Cyprus on the eastern side of the island on the Mediterranean Sea as you can see there. Two days ago I flew from Tel Aviv, Israel a very short 45 minute flight for about $150 one way including the uh, luggage there. Spent two nights here in Larnaca, didn't film yesterday. The mission for this trip is more to focus on the northern part of Cyprus. So for those who don't know, then Cyprus is basically divided. The Greek southern side and the Turkish northern side. Long story, lots of politics and whatnot. An invasion by Turkey in 1974, which resulted in a line, the green line it is called, a border that cuts right through the capital city of Nicosia, which straddles the Turkish and the Greek side. So I'm here on the Greek side. I am taking that bus right there, which leaves in about 10 minutes, to Nicosia, and then I will be walking back over the border that I walked across last year. This is my third time to Cyprus. The first time was just to the uh, Greek side, Paphos, and then rented a car and drove around, and then Larnaca here, and then the last time last year was a very quick trip because I was basically just uh, going to Greece and I got a flight from Turkey to Nicosia on the Turkish side, stayed there a couple of nights, and then crossed the border to the Greek side here, came to Larnaca, and then caught a flight over to uh, Santorini, Greece. So it's going to be another uh, border crossing to a disputed territory, but there shouldn't be any problems especially going this way, there was a potential issue the last time because I'd flown into the Erkan airport and then uh, flew out of Larnaca, which is apparently technically not allowed. I hadn't realized that at the time and then discovered it in the process of research before crossing that border. So I was nervous about it, but even that worked out. So shouldn't be an issue here as far as I know. So I will catch this uh, bus to Nicosia and then just walk through the city over the border and then I have a hotel reserved in Kyrenia for the next three nights. I'm planning to rent a car but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that now or after I arrive in Kyrenia. Definitely not on this side but maybe on the Turkish side of Nicosia rent a car there. Anyway, we'll find out. Time to do about a 45 minute bus ride. Four euros for the bus. And the AC in here is just glorious. Oh, feels so good. So here we are, Nicosia, capital of Cyprus. Notice all the Greek language? That will be changing soon, once I cross over the green line. So I'm doing the same walk that I did the last time last year, but of course going the other direction. So let's do it. Get this border crossing done and get to Kyrenia, which looks very nice on the uh, sea on the northern side. Okay, I have it plugged into my phone as far as the border checkpoint, but I'm not 100% certain it's the right 
place. I should recognize the area once I get there because it's a pedestrian zone. I think that I need to be that way. And my phone might be coming up with something else for the checkpoint. Because I remember making a walk this way to get to the bus station, which means I should have to go this way. So let's uh, give this a try. All right, so this is looking familiar here. Definitely. Although, maybe my phone is right because we're not going that way. We're going this way, which is kind of where that other area would have taken me, it looks like. So uh, anyways, this is a, a nice pedestrian walking street here. Nice to get away from the uh, traffic. And uh, it's a little bit cooler down here with the buildings and the trees. Lots of shopping, but I am just going to get there, get it done, and then I have three nights booked in Karenia. So the big question is, should I try to rent a car just other side of the border somewhere in Nicosia? It's only a 30 minute drive to Karenia. or just try to find a uh, bus or take a taxi, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking it might be nice to just get to Karenia without the car, not have to deal with the parking and everything, and spend the next couple of days just kind of relaxing there and then rent a car and go road tripping from there. And then I have a couple of days of just kind of chilling without the intense road tripping which I am totally looking forward to but uh, I just finished a very intense week in Israel and Palestine so a couple days just kind of relaxing by the sea could be just what I need And I believe that is it up ahead. Let's see if my phone was... No. My phone was indicating somewhere totally different. Good thing that I have been here before. Maybe that's another possible crossing there, but... Uh, this is a good one. I mean, maybe it's the only one. Not sure about that, but uh, this one's a nice, easy walk from the uh, bus station. That was, you know, like 10 minutes. All right, time to put the camera away and uh, get to the other side. And boom. Easiest border crossing ever. It took about three minutes total to go through both border crossings. Of course, you have to exit the Greek side and then enter the Turkish side. So two different passport controls, no lines for either one, super quick, no questions. And then I got some Turkish lira. They use the lira here in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which is only recognized as an independent nation by one country, no surprise, that is Turkey. So the United Nations considers it as being part of the Republic of Cyprus. In other words, that the island of Cyprus is one nation, so it is a disputed territory. Okay, so Kyrenia is 35 minutes away. I'm thinking of taking the quick and easy route. 
How much to Kirenia? How much in lira? Lira or euro? Euro. 30 euro. 30 euro. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. The restaurant for the hotel looks really cool. So a pretty cool room here. I'm liking the looks of this place with the restaurant, the uh, staff is really friendly, speaks good English, and then there's a balcony and stairs. What do these stairs go to? Huh. Rooftop. Interesting. I have my own little <laughs> private kind of funky... Uh, oh, it goes up to the uh, larger rooftop. <laughs> That's a trip. Wow. So it is uh, 73 euros or $79 a night. Pretty uh, good deal. I mean, not like super cheap considering that uh, I think that it is generally cheaper over on this side of Cyprus, but uh, pretty uh, fancy place there and a great location was kind of the main thing was when I was looking on booking.com then it had a great location just right in the middle of things. There's the uh, castle. So Kyrenia here is also called Gerne. So Kyrenia is the Greek name Gerne is the Turkish name. As you can see, amazing mountains there. So looking north here at the Mediterranean and then Turkey straight up there. So, uh, wow. Pretty wild to uh, travel like an hour and a half and then it's similar yet definitely different. Looking forward to exploring more of this uh, little-known area. Can't exactly call it a country. It is not an independent country. I don't, you know, add another country to my list. Coming here, I go by the United Nations official list. But uh, definitely an interesting and little-known place that I will do my best to uh, show more of. Let's get down there and uh, walk around just a little bit, show a bit more of the town here before I uh, get into the video editing process. Okay, let's do a little bit of random wandering here. Love these uh, old town streets. So. I did not know where I was going to be going in northern Cyprus until this morning and I just looked, wow, 
nice uh, little plaza. Let's go see the uh, old harbor. So I had no idea where else to uh, visit in Northern Cyprus. I'd only been to Nicosia the last time. And so this morning I just did a quick search online, best towns in Northern Cyprus. This came up along with, you know, Famagusta and others, but uh, I like the looks of uh, this one. Now I had no idea that it was such a big city. I just saw the pictures of the old town and thought it was gonna be kind of a, you know, smaller town. And then coming into it, it is a good sized city. So this is definitely, you know, the better area to stay. It's just so much quieter and more peaceful than the big modern city streets. Location is very important when it comes to hotel rooms. Okay, where to go, where to go? I'm a little concerned about uh, not being able to find my hotel again. I didn't bring my phone because my service isn't even working. But I'm sure that I'll figure it out. So, who built these buildings? And what is it? Okay, we have an open door. Well, the uh, abandoned building exploring begins already. Like an altar, so is this a church? Seems very likely, but a very unique style altar like that. It almost looks like the kind that is used for like sacrifice of animals or something like this isn't the typical altar you see in a Christian Greek Orthodox church, so not sure what's the deal. There's no clear evidence that it was a church. Oh, there we go. Clear evidence. Wow. That is cool to see that. And then that itself is quite unique. That kind of a cross with, I guess that's representing Jesus on the cross. So, wow. Yep. We have a church here, so I'm sure built by the Greeks. Or the Cypriots, I should say, but uh, Greek-speaking Cypriots. So nice and quiet back in here. Look at this amazing building here, Karaf Wine and Spirit House. And so there you can see it is all in Turkish. And there is the name of the town, Gerne. Look at this door. Wow. What a cool place. They're playing ACDC. Man, it's kind of a trip how I just like stepped a few blocks off of that main busy street and it's so quiet and interesting back in here. So again, cross and then we have a date. There we go, Greek up on top, 1814, I think. It's a little hard to tell, 18 something. Another very interesting door. And there, another church.
So if that doesn't go through, there's a construction project right there. Let's just get a uh, clear view of the sea, the harbor, whatever. I could see the castle is right over there. Huh. There's nothing saying don't go up here. You're gonna get a good view of the castle. Let's see what's here. Whoa. Okay. What's the deal here? Looks like it was an old, like, nightclub. Maybe that one is still operational, but, uh... Hmm. Okay, there you go. There's the harbor, the castle. Pretty epic looking. But uh, it is all a construction zone. Hopefully they're like making it into a really nice uh, pedestrian harbor area, but for now it is in bad shape. I'm sure that you can get over the castle over on the other side or something. So I think that is gonna do it for now. I'm going to uh, Take a seat at the restaurant at my hotel and get to work. Take a break. I am absolutely wiped out. Intense uh, number of days of traveling. Other than yesterday, it was kind of mellow, but uh, getting from, well, across Israel and then flight to here and then border crossing day to day, even though it was pretty uh, smooth and easy. So, anyways, more coming from the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. See ya. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't care the pearls. I wanna have the I want a perfect body. I want a perfect soul. I want you to know me when I'm not around. You're so very special. I wish I was special, but I'm a fool.